Hey everyone, Ava Pala here, and today we're going to be playing Midnight Maid Night. It was developed by Zed Technician, founder of Ichio. I have a link in the description, you can all check it out. In this game, we play as a cleaning service, who has a side job moving stuff around a mansion. But let's get into it. I wonder how endowed the uh, characters will be. <laughs> okay. But really, it makes sense. First, you replace a single plank on the ship, then another. You keep going until everything has been replaced, and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, when did it stop being the ship of Theseus? What? <laughs> oh, it's like a, a giant ant. Is that an ant? Oh my god. Well, it makes sense. It was like an anteater in the last one. Eh, okay. Wouldn't it be easier to just build a new ship instead of going through all that? Truth, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. Well, if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. Maybe that's the point of all this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's out to get you. I don't... I don't think... I think we're getting off track here. Oh, hold on, my phone's going off. Wait, 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 wait. The human character has a claw for a hand. What? Oh my god, this is so strange. <laughs> Shoot, what's wrong? Our two o'clock just canceled on us. Uh-oh, why's that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so, gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. Say she'd rather clean the place herself. That was our last appointment for the month, too. There's one more we could do. No, we're not doing that one. Well, we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the van. And that's the end of the Midnight Maids. I don't think either of us wants to start looking for a new career at this point. Ruth, you're killing me. I swear. Oh, come on now. I don't even have to clean the place. Just move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Mm-hmm. Y'all say. Let's go. That's the Naomi I know. We'll be there in no time. <laughs> a giant ant. A lady with claws for hands. What? Oh my god, she has chicken legs too. <laughs> I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. I'm not too thrilled about it either. But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. Oh, so wait, are the other... Per she's a bird? Okay. She doesn't really have the face of a bird, though. That's I know, I know. It's just... All right, what's first on the agenda? I'll check. Yes, what is it? The estate has been sold, and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. We hired some movers, but they unexpectedly left a few hours into work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need to finish or need you to finish up the job. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you'll need to use. You may put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. You send them a message and let them know we're here. I'll start packing up in here first. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm okay. I'm the ant. Oh. Individual pages. Whoa. Hello there. <laughs> Downs is a bit of a surprise. Now, is it going to be like one box per room? Is it going to get full? Oh, what else I should be? Can't jump. Sprint. Oh, 
Okay, I thought those were individual pages. I'm like, no, that's a huge stack. Here we go. That's this room taken care of now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this box on out to the van. Be right back. Sure thing. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey, someone's here. Doesn't he look familiar? Oh, hey, Ruth. You can't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. Is that him? No. That's a different character. It's not the... Vanderbilt or whatever his name was from the other one. He scared me almost half to death when he showed up. I'll be sorry about the fright, madam. Yeah, I, th I think the other guy had black hair. But I do have a question. I feel I must ask, and who's bigger? Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me, has something happened? My friend and I were contracted to move things out before the new owner shows up. New owner? So we finally lost the estate. I should have known. Never mind that. I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at this late hour. Tomorrow, I can't do daylight. And I'm nocturnal. So we only work at night. Besides, if we don't finish the job tonight, we don't get paid. I see, I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case... You'll need to keep a close eye out for my father during your work. The man had his fair share of demons in life, and in his current state, he's only gotten worse. But don't worry. The lights in this mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. They Should they begin to glow blue, then you know that he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at that point, right? Yes, I kind of do. Well... A family such as ours has had its share of enemies. Because of this, every room in this mansion has a secret alcove that can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots. So you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. I'll leave you both to get back to work. Just pretend I'm not even here. I'd like for the record to show that I am not okay with any of this. Naomi, hush. We'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate... It? Alrighty. Here is a strange one. And the understatement of the year award goes to... Uh... The box. Uh... Go forward. I think maybe we should try getting that one. That would just make sense. One that's a little bit farther. Oh, jeez, she's here with me. Oh, I didn't want to go in yet. I wanted to... I did want to find it, but I didn't want to go in. Oh dear, I don't think I can carry any more. Take this box out to the van. Great. Well, we can sprint. I don't see like a meter or anything. Should be good. Oh boy. I guess it kind of doesn't really matter. Finishing off a whole room at a time if I have to make more than one trip. Uh oh. Jeez Louise, dude. Both seem to be quite adept at this. The other group of movers had already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty. Sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. Then I get dragged into some insane situation just because we need the money. Last month, we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question. 
is because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How's I supposed to know? See what I have to go through? My, my. You two sure are something else. I wish we had more help like you during my time. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. My name is Joseph. Joseph Verman Ver Vermander. Yep, Vermander. So is this the same guy or is this like a relative? I'm Naomi. She's Ruth. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. Ellie, return to your work. Almost suspicious. Maybe he's actually... No, the lights don't turn blue with him. More... Corners. Pick up this <laughs> circle? No. I guess, uh... Coming? Oh no, he's coming. Run! I know when he's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> And safe. Okay, let's just rush this box back. Come on, come on. I wonder if he can get us when we're out here. Do we have to be careful of that? Box isn't full. Oh, okay. I guess confused when I had to that thing down to the next one. Huh? <clears throat> Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. Well, I, of course, did my best to respect the help. Father wasn't always as accommodating. God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from the wood, you know. <laughs> That's great to know. Hey, okay, I guess I don't... Is this room done? What's done to me? Wait, my box is full? Now let me pick up anything. Because those are boxes? Would not be able to tell it right now. But our dining room used to be quite the grandiose sight. All manner of pat patricians have graced this room. Though I sometimes wonder if they still would have visited had they known what truly went on here. Yeah, of all the silverware. Oh, got the mat. Now, where's the room in here? I gotta know these things. Oh dear, I don't think I can carry anymore. All right, back to the van. I'm gonna check the map. See if uh, that was a lot of boxes. So does circle mean I have to collect stuff in them still, or? I think so. My way. You out there. You picking up anything? Oh. 
nobody here. I wonder why I can't take the chairs. You would think they'd want that too. Go get them all. Eye out for the lights. Gotta make sure they don't turn blue. That would not be good. Oh my god. This box was not very full. Oh. It says it's full, but I don't remember doing much. So many boxes. As long as the lights stay the way they are. Yep. Right. Yellow is good. Another full box, huh? Run! Uh, don't turn blue. Hey, I don't see how being out here would save us. Not like to forget the box. Alright. Oh, here we go. Getting rather late. It is. Which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius. Oh, another person. No. Who? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. You paragon of a butler. I haven't one bad word to say of the man. But one could... One cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived. And you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need in an emergency. Food water, and enough firewood to last for days. However, father wasn't happy. The man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day. But instead of occupying his time doing something else as a sane person would, he sent poor old Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. Father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. Just sent him out wholly unprepared. Nice to say, Cornelius didn't return. The man met his untimely demise out there in all the ice and snow. And now, something appears outside every night, just past the gate. Something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you may very well end up face to face with him. Great. Great. Yeah. Blue. It was like he was trying to distract me. Okay, back to packing. Banker hall area done. On our merry way. Now we have to worry about Cornelius. Great, great. It'll be able to finish this. Yeah, there we go. I'm a curious about this room down here. Now I can pick. I can't. Why can I not pick that up now? Ah, oh, fine. We'll go to a different room. Maybe the size of the items matter? A 
Let's get out of my way. Oh my gosh, she's trapped me in there. Yeah, I can't grab boxes. Oh, <laughs> another talk. Okay. This mansion has been in our family for generations, you know. As my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my family. The help retreated fairly for once. I lowered the prices of, on all of our properties. I even tried returning all those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. I was well on my way to pulling our family name out of the mud, you know. Then somehow, Father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. He broke just about every lie he could whilst alive. Breaking universal laws was the next logical step. Sounds like the type that would. Anything I can grab? No? Can't grab any of these boxes. That's all it is, is boxes. Oh my god, there's another floor. Blue, blue, blue. No candles in this room, I don't think. <clears throat> Alright, daddy-o. Leave me alone. Just boxes everywhere. Yeah, towels. I'm full. Let's go. Eat at me. Not this way. Not forget to stay clear of Cornelius. I don't know where I'm going <laughs> now. There we go. This looks kind of familiar. Be out there too long. How are we doing on the map here? Oh. That's a lot of rooms. <sighs> okay. Is there anything in here? No. Can't carry anymore. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Interesting. Wasn't marked up. Oh, here he is, though. Yeah, I found the thing. little stuff. Is the library? I don't even know where it is. I'm just just gonna run somewhere. Hope for the best. I in the this bathroom looks familiar.
another talk? A vast selection of tombs and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations. So much knowledge. Yet somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. Huh. Wall. My wall. This room is big. No, I don't want to talk to you. Nothing. Yeah, I don't need anything from you. Get in my way. Oh dear, can't care anymore. Okay, okay, I'm getting it now. Rush out here. In my way, chicken lady. I mean, Naomi. Oh, now who was here? I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself. But for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Agatha used to be part of the help. Like Cornelius, she too was an exemplary servant. At her time here, both she and I grew close. Very close. Despite knowing full well the impact it would have on my family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, Father found out. Again and again I asked him, Where is she? And what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he didn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards where she belonged. Then he went on about his day, reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like this. She'll probably wake up soon. Could you see the candle suddenly go out? You know she's in the same room as you. You know, I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs away if I even look at her. So you have to look at her, I guess. Great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Much to do here. Look at her, it says. That's, uh... Shit, 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 shit. How do I look at Agatha? That's a good question. Like, do, is it just she'll be there and I have to look at her? Um, now yeah, please. Back here. Out of my way! Get some boxes over here. Yeah. Oh, I can't pick up anymore. I gotta get to the library now. Okay. Library, here I come. Only room that actually has, like, a lot of little stuff. You coming back here every time, huh? Blue books. Uh, 
that count as a light level change? Yeah, probably. My gosh, he keeps getting in my way. Oh, that's not fair. He's like a werewolf. Yeah, that light still looked like it was kind of blue. Can't carry anymore. Let's go. Right, we'll just cut through this little uh, living room area. All right, Cornelius, don't bother me. I don't bother you. Boxes. Yeah, uh, I don't think it'll be the next. I think this room. I need a box. Oh, okay, I'm full. Library. Oh, he's coming. Oh no, Daddy O. Stay far away. You find nothing. Yep, look around. Bye bye. Library. <clears throat> oh, I. Yeah, the next up should be Agatha. Where is she? Where is she? Grab these wings. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I'd be able to pick up something else though. Wait, I thought this was a special wall. No? Oh dear. Can't carry no more. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Going, going, going. Ah, get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Get a box in time. Damn, I gotta go back to get one. Let's go. Uh, I think. I think we should go up again. No, there was nothing up. No, there was a box. Sure, there was a box. Nope. I'd be dooming myself right now. Oh, there are boxes. Out of my way. See how she just does that. you okay i can't pick up anymore uh library was empty so no point going down there oh 
What else is there? Must be missing something. Am I blue? map. <laughs> That's all I have to do is go to the map. I found you! Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, we still have boxes in those? What? In the library? Okay, let's go all the way back down. Uh, wait, that's not the problem though. Right, the, the problem was I need enough small stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm not finding small things. I can't fit these in there. Mm. Oh, I got the... Mm. Missing. What am I doing? I don't even know. Oh, blue. I can't just bring this box back. I've tried. And she says that it's not full. Oh, we got to see what he looks like. Definitely zombified. I said there was still something in the library. What could be in the library? I'm sure I checked all of it. Yeah. Nothing in here. So I don't get it. And maybe you have to pack it a certain way. Like I should have went for the big boxes first instead of what I did. I don't know. Unless there's a room like right down. Not this one because we've already been in here. No room down here. I am so lost. I collected everything. That I can. Naomi? Yeah? Why is there a pile of doors here? I think 
I read something about the new owner being allergic to bronze. Like, that's why they had all the doors taken off or something. Bronze allergy? How strange. Oh, it's just the same thing. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Okay, I... This box isn't full. I don't care. Full or not. You're not gonna let me pick up anything. What's, what does it matter if it's full? Going. Yeah. Bathroom time. Full room. Our room emptied. I gotta go return these. Like I'm at a library. We wanna keep going. I think the lights are gonna turn blue. I don't know how long we have to hide before uh decides to show himself. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this is a long stretch. That's right, zombie boy. Get out of here. Where am I? I don't even know. Oh, wait. Is this where I am? Okay. Boxes. I can only carry a couple of those at a time. That's... So many trips. I can carry one more. Out of my way! Yep. Strange, she's not well endowed. <laughs> All the female characters in these games always are. That's the werewolf taking effect. Blue. Now, where are you? Like I said, I don't know if we have like 10 seconds, 5 seconds. Uh. Other area, good. be the last one actually <laughs> sneaky sneaky actually, I think she's a fox <clears throat> I still have a bomb. Okay. Uh, is that the library? 
Yeah, the library still has something. Interesting. Blue. Oh! I hope that doesn't count. <laughs> like, maybe him coming in reset because this is the second time that's happened. Uh, that light didn't want to change right away. Candle. Leaving already? Yep, we're all done here. Thankfully. No offense, my guy. Your house creeps me out. <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm gonna miss it. It's the only home I've ever known, you know. But it's high time for me to move on. No point in haunting this place a moment longer. For our time here is over. I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I never would have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. Ozzy, this is nothing new for us. We just track on or tack on another 50 bucks to the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. Ah, oh, so this isn't the first time, huh? Interesting. And they knew he was a spirit? I mean, you can kind of tell because of the eyes and everything. I expect nothing else from the Midnight Maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? Father. You're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, Father? No. I'm done with you. My whole life has revolved around you. I spent the entirety of my youth trying my best to please you. You only thought of yourself. I spent the rest of my short time here trying in vain to atone for your evil deeds. I used to let you ruin my afterlife as well. That's it. Back at this year. Sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Agatha? You, you still remember me? Why haven't you said anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf. So what is she, a fox? A wolf? I think she's a fox because of the way they... Her coloring. Without giving you the silent treatment for a while, I might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Exactly. Now come on, let's, fi let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. Want a bet, old man? I? So you just left us with him. This is your fault. If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. You're gonna pay for that. Um. Uh, hey. It's, uh, what's his name? Cornelius. Ah, there you are, sir. Here's that newspaper you wanted. I asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, huh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir. There's a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. Huh? What is this? No! I will not go yet. Oh, yes you will, Jeremiah. My legacy. I must preserve it. Ah. Thank you, Cornelius. Righto, now that's finally sorted, I better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. Bye. Never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. Ha 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 ha. Very cool.
All right, that was Midnight Maid Night. And yeah, it was pretty fun. I always like Zed Technician games. Uh, mechanics are usually different in them. I mean, usually, I mean, you still have to hide from something in all of them. Uh, except for the, the something zero when you're in a car. Because you can't really hide there. I like it. I love the characters. They're always great. Personalities and everything. Even though it's not a whole lot of dialogue. This is enough to go on. It's pretty fun. I like these. But on that note, you'll have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.